Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you the student perspective of what it looks like when you give them feedback on a PDF or a picture in Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm making this video by request, and if you have a question for me or a request for me, feel free to send me an email, and I'll try to help you out as well. So here I am in my demo Google class, and I'm going to go into my classwork and add a new assignment here. Let's call this a new assignment, and we'll say, submit a picture of your math assignment, or your math work. Okay. So there's our assignment. And of course, we can give it a due date. Maybe we'll make it due tomorrow or Thursday. And we can put in topics and whatnot if we want to, but let's just assign it. So now that's been assigned. Submit a picture of your math work. And that appears in the stream. Now, for the student who's looking at this, and here's a student perspective. This is my student, Mason. He's going to see this, click on it, and we'll see submit a picture of math work. All right. But he's going to go over here and hit add or create. And in this case, he's going to upload a file. Now, if he had the picture in his Google Drive or the PDF in his Google Drive, he could pull it from there. But in this case, we're going to upload directly from the computer. So we'll select that file to upload. Now when that's uploaded, he's going to turn it in. Okay, so the student has now turned in his work. And as the teacher, let's go back over here and look at that assignment we'll see, okay, it's been assigned and turned in. Let's click on the turned in. We'll see that Mason has turned it in. As a teacher, I'm gonna click on that. And I can comment on a part of this, or I can write a comment for the entire assignment. So let's say I wanna do this. I'll just highlight there and say, Good job. Your math is correct. And your penmanship has improved. We'll add that comment. Now, over here, I can add a private comment as well. This comment that I've written on the document or on the image of the document will only be visible when the student goes in and opens that entire assignment and, entire, and the entire file. This comment that I write here, I write, great job. The student can see that even without opening this file once I return it. Put in that grade, I'm gonna post it, and return it to the student. So now, Let's go and take a look at how the student will see this. So again, we're back in the student perspective here. This is Mason, my student. Go to his classwork. We'll look at that assignment. He's going to view the assignment. He sees it's graded. Let's view the assignment. He'll see that comment of great job. Now that applies to the entire assignment. If he wants to see the comment directly on this item, I'll have to go in and not only click on it once, but in the upper right corner, go to more actions, open in a new window, and now he can see the comment that was written directly on top of the image itself. So it's a little bit cumbersome, and you're going to have to remind your students to open the artifact, in this case, the image, in order to see the comments that were written on the image itself. Now you might decide that you're gonna write in here, not only great job, but great job, and please open the document to check the comments. 
So you're going to have to do a little reminder in there. But that's how students will see the comments and the grades that you give them on PDFs and images in Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.